Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. Today, I'm going to break down my BFL from April 2nd of 2022. But before I get started, if you guys would, just write down here, if you guys are liking the content I'm putting out, um, just like the video. And then also, if you've not subscribed to the channel, if you would, subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to support the channel. We have had significant growth. We've had over 3,000% growth here over the past, oh, it ain't even been 28 days, but that's what it shows on my YouTube channel. So let's jump into this here. So this was the BFL on Table Rock, April 2nd, 2022. This was kind of some weird circumstances because there was a rescheduled Lake of the Ozarks event that was in March, a BFL, but they rescheduled it to Sunday, which is the day after the Saturday event, which was April 2nd, 2022. And the second event was April 3rd, Sunday, April 3rd, April 22. So that kind of changed how I game plan things. And I kind of, I messed up or I would have had a check in a lot better finish, but I kind of game plan for two days and that didn't work out. I'll get into that whenever I recap that tournament next. So the first day, there was a lot of water run in. There was a, I don't know about a lot of water running, but there was a water and the water had rained. So up the river, I was fishing in the Kings River is where I found my fish in Sweetwater Creek, as you can see right here. Up in Sweetwater Creek is where I was fishing and there was some log jams up in there. So it was kind of a pain in the butt to get up in there around some of those uh, bends right there in the river. I had to idle through some of those because there was some uh, logs washed up and bunch of debris washed up in log jams is what I would call them. So we got into Sweetwater Creek and I started in there and I was throwing this bait right here, which is a Spro Rock Crawler. And right there, it is a Delta Crawl is the color. It's got the yellow belly on it, kind of an orangish yellow belly on it. And then it's got the red sides and the black back and I did really good all spring on this I did good with this and on Lake of the Ozarks as well in the springtime the early spring I did really good with it so I fished all of Sweetwater Hollow not all of it because there were some boats in the very back of it they must have been catching fish back there but the very back of it there was boats but right there where you see the red that is where I caught my two keepers I caught one on the north and one on the south and then you can see the green that's where I caught three shorts in there on that same rock crawler and I wasn't fishing real slow through there I didn't want to catch too many fish I just wanted to try and get my limit out of my areas that day and then pull out of the Kings River so I didn't burn my fish up so the second area that I caught fish in I did run some other coves I didn't put them in there so we can keep the video a little shorter the second area that I caught two keepers in, the other two keepers I caught out of the Kings River, was just, it's back to the east of uh, the marina there, which is uh, Kings River Marina, I believe is the name of it. It's just back east of there, there's a little cut right there, cove right there that kind of splits off. It's going east and it kind of has an arm that goes south and then an arm that goes straight east. And right out there to the front of that is kind of a little flat right on that south bank right there. As you can tell, right there where that red is, I caught the two keepers right there. And then I caught the three keepers where the greens are. And that was on that same Delta Crawl rock crawler. And like I said, I was just fishing that and you reel it pretty slow. Um, some other options I should have went through and I could have done better would have been had I thrown a, now I can't remember the name of it, a frit side. A frit side, I did get some in pointers later on that a frit side would have probably worked good. Um, a square bill might have worked good too, but I know that rock crawler, they were eating it good and there were some good fish. And I did miss two quality bites, one in this uh, the second area and one in the first area. I seen one of them. It was about three and a half to four pounds. So that would have jumped me up in there to check range. But I wasn't too worried about it. Like I said, I could have easily been in check range had I stayed in Kings River. But I was saving my fish for the second day because I knew we had to fish the next day as well. I should have just burned them all up the first day after I found out what I found out the second day. But you guys will see that in the next video there. So then I pulled out of Kings River and started running back to the ramp. At this point, it was only about 10 o'clock. I don't even think it was 10 o'clock yet. I think it was 9.30. I already had four keepers out of there. I was like, okay, there's plenty of fish here for tomorrow. Let's just go try to find a secondary pattern in case this don't work tomorrow. So 
I ran up and they were one of the areas I caught what I caught my last keeper was up just north of Indian Hills Resort. You say right there where Indian Hills Resort Cove is. Go up north to the main uh, channel up there, the main river channel. And then you're going to cut back to the east where it goes north, the main river channel. And then there's kind of a channel swing bank just right over there. You'll see it right out there on the map. And that is where I caught the fifth keeper. And I caught it on a Mega Bass Vision 110 in a pro blue, pro blue color. That's what I caught it. I live scoped that one, watched it eat it, seen it out there and it's suspended in the trees and caught it on the jerk bait. And then I wasn't too worried. I just fished a couple areas and messed around at that point. Going back to the boat ramp because I knew I had all those fish up in Kings River and I couldn't run back to Kings River at that point. So I knew I just had to search around for something else. But that's basically just simplified exactly what I did, showing you guys where I caught those fish. Now, why did I catch those fish up the Kings River? I caught them up there on that reddish color because it was more stained water and those fish were shallower. I did find out some things later that um, things you could have done, things I should have done. The wind was blowing pretty good. I should have been fishing ditches with a jerk bait. That is how the tournament was won i'll get into breaking down ditches in another video later on hopefully here within a few days on exactly what to look for in ditches how to fish ditches with live scope exactly how to do that and where those fish sit so but i was back in there up the king's river and the water temps if i remember right were mid 50s right in there uh, 54 to 56 can't remember exactly what it was it's been so long ago that was back in april so it was about mid 50s maybe a little lower than mid 50s i know it was over 50 degrees so those fish were setting up in pre-spawn and they were pulling up in there and they were feeding up in there i mean they were they were pretty shallow some of them i caught uh, one of my co-anglers caught one just right on the bank and some of the ones i caught were in two foot but most of them were still out in about eight foot of water out there especially on that flat so i found those good areas so I just wanted to share that with you guys on what to look for to help you guys out. Because I know how difficult it is when you're trying to get into fishing and figure out where the bass live exactly. It's very difficult and there's a lot of tight-lipped people out there do not want to help you. That is why I created this channel is to help you guys. Not to give you spots, but to let you guys know how to find fish. So you could look at a map and be like, oh, okay, so this makes sense. This time of year, the bass are going to be in these areas, et cetera, stuff like that. Colors to throw, what baits I'm using in these BFLs. So you guys know how to catch fish. So I had a limit. It was just a small limit. I weighed in 10 pounds, 13 ounces, which put me in 83rd place. I was 200 some boats, I do believe. I can't quote the exact number. I didn't write that down. And the check range was 68th place, 12 pounds, 2 ounces. So I missed two fish that would have had me right at check range. Had I got those two fish in the boat, I would have been up in the top 50 easily, but I didn't get those in the boat. But like I said, I could have easily broke check range and got in the top 50. Had I stayed in Kings River on day one, it was just a two-day tournament, so I didn't want to burn those fish up. I made some mistakes, but and that, that's fishing. That's how it goes. They weren't there the second. Well, they were there the second day. There was just... Yeah, I ran up in there, and there was about 20 boats. That one first cove I pulled into, there was 10 boats in that one cove. So my fish just got burned up by everybody else. So I should have caught them on the first day because there wouldn't have been people up there, I guess, because of the log jams. So that is how I finished. That's how I did in the BFL in April on Table Rock. That's how I caught them. Hopefully this video and content is helping you guys. And if you guys would in support, support the channel if you would. Uh, like the videos, comment on the videos if you've got any questions, or if you like the content, comment on the videos. That'll help get it up there higher up so more people see it. It'll be suggested in the videos. And also subscribe to the channel. That is the main thing is subscribing to the channel. And let's help build this channel. Share it on Facebook. Share it with your friends. Let everybody know the information I'm putting out there is to help anglers that are getting in and even help the anglers that are out there. You know, say those anglers struggle a little bit and need that one more keeper. I have those, some of these spots that will give you that one more keeper that these people do not know about. I know for me, if I had a couple more spots, spots in each place I went to, that would get me over the edge. But that information is not available because there's a lot of tight-lipped people. But that's why my channel is here, is to help you guys. Thank you guys.